Ahoy there, Captain Benzi here, coming at you with a video for Armorjet. Today I wanted to talk to you about the legendary Black Tusk skin, Chroma, and how you can get this on your account completely free. Now before we jump in on this one, let me know if you do enjoy the video or find it useful by hitting like on it, and consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already for all things Armorjet. Let me know what kind of content you'd like to see in the future, either by commenting down below, or by finding me on the different social media channels along the bottom of your screen now. Cool, that said and done, let's talk about the Chroma. Well, the Chroma Black Tusk is the one you can see on screen now. This is a legendary skin, and it is based, of course, on Razer's RGB technology. That's, of course, uh, Razer, the company that makes all the various different computers and gaming peripherals. They do, like, mice, keyboards, laptops, and, of course, the phone that I use, the Razer Phone 2. Most commonly with Razer products, they tend to have the Razer Chroma RGB, this kind of glowing effect on it. And if you want the Black Tusk to look like that too, well, this is how you're going to do it. Ultimately, this is mainly supposed to be for people who are on Android. Um, you will need either an Android device or a computer that can run an Android emulator. Personally, I recommend an Android device. If you don't have one, see if you've got a family member or a friend or someone you know can lend you their Android device and we'll go through the process how that works. If not, install a, uh, an Android emulator, something like Bluestacks or Nox, onto your PC or Mac or whatever you can, and then do it that way as well. Now, ultimately, there are a couple of steps to this. It's dead simple, and I'm going to walk you through it piece by piece. So, with your Android device or with your Android emulator, the first thing you're going to need to do is to download Razer Cortex. Now, to do this, come on to the store of whichever it is. Obviously, search for Cortex. Here we go through, and you should see it's right at the top here. Razer Cortex game, big green icon here. Now, before we continue, I do just want to talk about Cortex a little bit because it is a great little app, um, and there are some genuine reasons why you would actually want this installed on your device to begin with. Cortex is a game launching app. There is a PC version, but the PC version isn't going to help you get the Razer Chroma skin for the Black Tusk. You do need to have the Android version for this. Now, as you can see that when you load up Cortex games, of course, it has a load of different like adverts, different games that you might be suggested and like to try. Um, I know a lot of people have found Armorjet through this, as it does often get mentioned on here, especially as it's 120. Um, Armorjet sometimes is one of the paid to play games as well, where you earn Razer Silver. Those are a happy, happy weekend for me when I get to play Armorjet and earn Razer a silver for doing so as well. Now beyond that of course you can load each and every one of your games here. You can see obviously Armorjet uh, features very prominently for me here and um, you can jump into Armorjet and load it up from here. Um, why would you load Armorjet directly from this and not straight up? Well that comes in with the other bits and pieces. If we go into the analyzer section for example um, you see I've got gaming mode switched on here. This allows me to just change a few settings. Obviously I can lock my Wi-Fi uh, wi and Bluetooth on. Um, that means that I'm not going to disconnect my controller or lose my Wi-Fi. Do not disturb automatically comes on so I don't get any notifications or calls and that kind of thing. Haptic feedback can be switched on. I can go for 100% brightness as well, but that one does really drop the battery quite quickly. And at the very bottom here, you can see frames per second FPS. In the top right of my screen, you can see there are 60 FPS right there. This app obviously is capped at 60. Back in the Armorjet footage earlier, you'll have seen that's playing at 120 FPS. If you have a device that supports 120 FPS, awesome. You can play Armorjet using that, and this, uh, the Razer Cortex app here will show you how to do that. Finally, if you go into Game Booster, you can manage each game individually as well. I can choose if I want anti-aliasing on, CPU, frame rate, all of this kind of thing, or just go for whether I want to save battery or higher performance, all this kind of thing. Cortex is a really useful app for running Armorjet. You can tweak the settings and get the game to run exactly how you want it. So I do actually recommend keeping this, but ultimately what you really want to do today is you're going to come in here, you're going to have Armorjet, um, installed, you're going to have Razer Cortex installed, you then go into your library and you load into Armorjet. Now as soon as you load into Armorjet, well, let's go and have a look. Now assuming you followed all of this correctly, obviously when if you're doing this on a separate device, um, if you're borrowing a friend's phone and you've installed Armorjet on that, or if you're using uh, Bluestacks and you've installed on there, 100% um, you're going to need to go into settings, into account and log into your Super Bit ID. Make sure you've got your Super Bit ID set up. There uh, should be details on screen now of how to do that if you're not sure. But if you log into uh, Razer, into, uh, Razer Cortex, if you open up Armorjet using Razer Cortex and then go into your armory, you should find that straight away under Black Tusk, right here at the top, the
the chroma skin will be unlocked ready for you to use and this is just a really cool legendary and um, for one thing not only does it absolutely look badass in the arena it really stands out it's a great weapon um, and obviously being a black tusk everyone has issue uh, you know everyone has the black tusk it's a standard issue weapon so this is 100% the skin you can use. Black Tusk is arguably one of the best weapons in the game, so it's one of those weapons you're probably going to use, and you'll probably get a decent amount out of the skin. Now, can you get the Chroma other ways? Yes. If you're opening up enough uh, shard packs, mega ton packs, that kind of thing, um, there is a chance that obviously the Black Tusk will drop. If you get a legendary item out of one of those, there is a chance that it could be the legendary Chroma Black Tusk skin, but it is a monumentally small chance, obviously, consider how many legendary items there are in the game. You've got to get a legendary drop, and then it has to be this one particular skin. Now, the other advantage of claiming it this way, going in via Cortex and getting yourself the uh, the Chroma Black Tusk, is that that's now a legendary ticked off the list. It's one that's not going to appear in packs easily for you. Um, so wholeheartedly, well worth doing, even if you're not actually going to use it yourself. But quite frankly, look at it. You really should be using this thing. Now, to finish off, I am going to jump into a game and just showcase what this looks like on a character. Here is the Chroma in action. I love how this skin looks because obviously the Black Tusk is a standard issue weapon. Everyone has access to it. So having a version of the Black Tusk that just stands out and looks that little bit more unique, to me, that's just a really important little thing. And I love how well this one really does just stand out. And it's so easy to get, but so many people just don't seem to know how. That's the purpose of this video. Hopefully now you understand how to get the Black Tusk skin for the, uh, the Chroma Black Tusk skin. Hopefully you will tell your friends as well, help them unlock this, teach a whole load of people exactly how awesome this weapon can be. And of course, picking up invisibility when you're trying to show off a weapon skill, uh, skin is not a great way to do it, but there we go. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching, folks. I hope you do enjoy your new Razor Black Tusk skin. Um, I do hope you enjoy this and you use it in the arena. Show me some screenshots, um, show me some footage of you using this. I can't wait to see you guys enjoying it all. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. Happy sailing and see you in the arena.